Hi everybody, my name's Pixie, and today we're gonna paint the glow-in-the-dark fireworks. Or fireflies. That's what I meant to say, fireflies. And they look like a, a jar of, a, of a gumballs tipped over and spilled away, but they're supposed to represent fireflies. We don't have fireflies in California because it's too hot here. It needs to be wet in the air. That It has to be really humid or they'll dry out, the little bugs. So, um... You haven't seen them in real life, but they're really neat. But they're green. Oh, so loud. oh. And who is there? Uh, keep it, keep yourself muted because the whole world can hear you. Um, I, and then we're gonna put this glow in the dark paint on there. But find the glue in the glow in the dark paint with me. It's this one that looks like gel. And then there's this. What is this green stuff? That's the powder. It's separated in the heat. But we can stir it together. Look at where mine is. Oh no, it's in my lid. I gotta scratch all that out and stir it in the gel. Okay, let's do it. So open it. I'm gonna get it out of my, my lid first. I'm gonna scrape it out. With I'm using my blue, little blue paintbrush. Yes, it's not white. We can tell the difference between the white and this one. Not the same. Look at that goo. So the glow in the dark powder, I buy it from a fancy place that makes exit signs and stuff. So it's the most bright I could find. And it lasts 12 hours. Okay, so you have to scratch off all that. Oh, it's like it turned to, it dried out, but okay, we'll break it up. See my little boogie in there? There's a little boogie in there. So you smash it, crush it, and then stir. Oh, it can't have any hard, thick uh, parts. Crush it up, scratch it off the edges. This is like some good glow-in-the-dark stuff, but it has to be in there. And why am I using the little paintbrush? Well, because I don't, I don't, I want to save as much as I can because it got all stuck in your paintbrush. Okay, and look, at, I got some in my lid. I'm totally getting this. I want mine to be bright. I'm just gonna use my. Scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. I'm picking it up on my paintbrush. Now I can stir it back in. Nice. Did you stir it? Okay, and then use the side of your paintbrush and squish any glow-in-the-dark paint on there. And the glow-in-the-dark paint goes on top of our paint. You know, all the colors. Those aren't glow-in-the-dark. This is. So we have to put it on, on top when it's dry. But just the fireflies and the moon. Okay, and then if you put the lid on it, clip. Now we can see if it glows. Watch this. Cup it like this. And then look inside. See if it's cool. Right? But if you expose it to the light and to the to the light and to the sun, it gets very, very bright. It's probably been in your bag, so it's not very bright right now, but it will soak up the light from the room. Oh, it barely glows because it's been in the bag and it ha when it's, it soaks up light like a um, solar panel. Does that make sense? So it has to soak up the light. Just shine it back. Okay, so just put this aside. We use this last. And now we can paint our, um, we're going to paint our moon first. So we're going to get our, um, we need, oh, what's this? What do you think this is made out of? The glow around the moon, the moon glow. What does it look like it's made out of? Blue. Blue and white. But did I make just, when I put a little bit of white in it, did I make just baby blue? White and mix it in till it's baby. No! So to make something 3D, you need dark, medium, light, which means some blue has no white in it. Some blue has a little bit of white in it. And some blue has are, some is just pure white. Look, I have actual pieces of white and I didn't even smash it in. Look at my dark blue pieces. I did not feel like I need to fix that because I have dark pieces, medium pieces, and right? That's cool. But this is, the whole theme of the painting is a spiral. Do you guys know what a spiral is? And not a circle? Where's my Sharpie? It was in my cup. Okay, I'll, you know the difference, right? So a circle is a circle, very boring. But a spiral goes like this. I start, oh, and I go around that one and I don't touch. 
and I go around that one and I don't touch, and I go around that one and I don't touch, and I go around that one and I go around that one, or I go reverse. Super big to little to little to little to little to little to little, or bigger, 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 bigger. And the more times I make the spiral, I paint it in. But it would be more efficient just to scribble that is not interesting to look at. We love the spiral because I if we do it on the moon really good, look at the moon is a spiral, but what are these little fireflies? They're all little spirals, right? And that's more interesting to look at than a gumball of just one color, right? So we're gonna make this, we're gonna get blue, and we're gonna use lots of blue like we don't even care. Should it be thin like watercolor? No. You open your blue, and with your biggest paintbrush, why? She can get more paint. And then when I smash my paintbrush really hard, it goes boop, and it's humongous, right? And I'm just gonna stab my blue like I'm mad. <gasps> I get a huge glob. I don't care. All this blue paint's for you. You can use it all up. Okay. And now I'm just, I just wanna get rid of the pencil. The pencil is born. So I just go, wee, and look at, I got a huge glob and watch me run out of paint. Did you, you couldn't see me do that? Look at that, let me tell you. The reflection was terrible. So I stabbed my blue paint again, and then I tried to go again, Oh, and then it, look, it only went to there. I need it thick like that. As soon as I run out of paint, should I scribble and try to get more paint out of it? No, just grab your paint, get another glob, and then go again. Oh, ran out again. Oh my God. Okay, wait. Okay, there. Okay. And it's nice and thick and sharp. Oh, you can still see my Sharpie. Get out of here, Sharpie. Bye. There. Okay. So, but we're not going to stay in the lines. Look at mine. Uh... Uh, I go outside the lines and it's supposed to be the glow of the moon. We're just, we would just like to get the circle soaking wet with some blue paint, but not side to side, not up and down. We're going to do it in spirals. Okay. And then how much paint should you use? Who thinks the thicker the paint, the more gorgeous the color, especially against a black background. So you use as much paint. You put it on as thick as paint, but I don't care. How much blue do you think we need for our teeny tiny fireflies? We only need a little bit. So all this blue is for you. So I'm going to get another huge scoop. Scoop! Are you kidding me, lady? You want me to get this much? Yeah, we're going to smush it in. We'll smush it down. Don't worry. Like, you know, like you get a big scoop of peanut butter and then smear it around, right? So, but I need it to be a spiral. Okay, remember? So I go, okay, okay, okay. So I land in the middle and go around that guy. And then I go around that guy. And then I go around that guy. And then I already ran out of paint. Oh my God. Okay, that means I need to get more paint again. Okay, where's my blue? It's cute. <laughs> okay, now I can go again. Around and around and around and around and around. And then I ran out of paint again. Oh, maybe I should just hold my cup. That's becoming annoying having to stop and get paint all the time. What the heck? Ooh, I just dropped paint on the floor, but luckily I have a, a, a canvas down here. I dropped this paint on the floor. I'll put it on there. Okay. Scoop, spinning, 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 smushing, smush, around and around, 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 around. But am I just watch? Uh, this is a mistake I see some people make because you think we're making circles. It's not like this, a whole bunch of baby curls. No, it's not baby curls. No, I'm making one big giant spiral. Sometimes I'm really big and then I go to small. And sometimes I'm small and I go really big. And I keep doing it, trying to get rid of the black. So you're smashing the paint around and around and crushing it and using your big fat paintbrush to tell her to go around and around and smashy, smashy. Let me check. I can tell I painted it because it's shiny. Wait, I got that, I gotta paint that and that, okay. But I'm, I'm touching it up, I'm ruining my spiral. I better go back and fix it. Cause the texture matters. Okay, now that I kind of ruined mine, trying to fill in the black, 
Now let me to put it back to pretty spiral. So I start in the middle and just spiral, 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 spiral. Okay, that's an, or who likes to go big to little? That's legit. Big to smaller, 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 smaller. Okay. And then look, do I have any black showing? Who's getting a huge glob of paint and just smashing it down? Do not get a tiny bit of paint. That'll take you forever. And what, as soon as we make our paint thin like this, who's stealing all of the water out of our paint? The air. As soon as we make it thin, we are trying to go fast. And look at, sometimes I do scribble and just try to get rid of some of those black things, you know? But I have to go back and put the sh the texture again, fix it. Okay. Okay, ew. Look how much paint is on my paintbrush. Gross. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to get white. Can you find your white? Because we have to make it. How many color values of blue are we rooting for? Three dark blue pieces that got nothing. And then... Blue and white makes baby blue. And then sometimes there's strings of white, and we love that too. So find your white paint, but we're going to use our finger to drop it off. Watch this. You know why? This paintbrush is filthy, and it will ruin my white. So I'm just going to use my finger. This goes keep. But I'm going to drop it off in skinny little strings in a spiral shape. You want to see me do it? Everybody pause what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. Watch. I'm gonna, Okay, here's my little boogie. And I just go... Hey, I ran out of paint. I need a little tiny poke more. And then, because I'm going to hit those. I'm going to make my spiral again, but I do not want it to be solid baby blue. So I, if I put them in a random pattern, when I make my spiral, some parts will stay blue. Some parts will be white. And some parts, of course, will be baby blue because it can't be helped. Okay, you guys, oh, ew, there's paint on my finger. Should I lick it off? No. Just find a napkin, right? And just go, ew. <laughs> it just washes off later, okay? Okay, so everybody pause and look at me. We got little boogies of white on there. Now, uh, everybody pause, watch me. Even if you're doing something else, you're on a different stuff, watch. I'm gonna start on the outside and I may or may not hit a white thing. It's none of my business because I'm rooting for three versions of blue. So I start at the very outside. Oh! And then I'm nothing, nothing, and I go smaller. Oh, I hit one. And then I go, oh, I'm just dragging the paint. And then, oh, and then, oh, I go small. Oh, I missed that one. Chew. Oh, around. I might have to do it twice for sure. Cause I am not erased. Oh. Ooh, ooh, then I hit another one. And sometimes it's, ooh, whee! Okay, how many color values do I have? Do I have dark ones? Me, oh wait, I wanna do it again. I feel like I have to, okay, one more time. I'll do it again. And if I hit white, fine, if not, cause I feel like I, I want it to be a little more uh, white. So I start on the outside. Oh, look it, it's in my paintbrush. I'm just dragging them around and collapsing my spiral. Ooh, I'm getting rid of more dark blue. Ooh, smaller, and I'm going slow, like I'm driving the car inside the roads. Whee! And do I pick up my paintbrush and scribble? Never. I'm crushing them in the texture and pattern. Of, look, do I have dark pieces now? Medium pieces, light pieces, and this side I totally missed because I couldn't see it. I was holding my painting from an angle there. Isn't that fun? Uh, Caden? Caden, that's too much time. We should be doing the white already. Don't get a step behind because you're decorating. Just enjoy it and play like you're in kindergarten. And you're just like, wee! Like that. Don't overthink it. And as long as it's a spiral texture, it's correct. This is a spiral thing. But watch, uh, Devum, right? Don't scribble it in so it's all baby blue. We are accidentally hitting the white pieces and they kind of make streaks so we can't spin it like this that just makes it baby blue that's so boring so boring we want that spiral <clears throat> and then do it again You're like oh do it i still have dots on there no so then pass again Phew. 
whew, and they streak, whew. We don't add more white because we like that there's dark pieces, medium pieces. And don't pick up your paintbrush. Look, don't go dash, 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 dash. It's so, just spiral. We and you just might hit a white piece and you might not. Wee, the texture. Okay, now look what's in my paintbrush right now. A little bit of baby blue. You want to see me make it blurry? Watch this. This is called dry brushing. There's almost nothing left in my paintbrush. I'm going to go, I'm just going to touch the outside edge of my circle and go and make a whole bunch of fuzzies, fuzzy circles around it. Look at those. Doesn't that look glowy? Right, watch. So do not get more paint. We're trying to run out of paint, but I'm going to touch the far outside edge and go, oh, oh, I'm, I'm dropping off like these. On the oh look at it. it's like dry and invisible like chalk because it's just what's left in my oops look at what I did I scribbled and made a start and stop mark I was supposed to just go around and around and around and around and around don't stop it makes weird stop marks like I just did and I meant putting dust it's like invisible it's called dry brushing and I'm just scribbling the outside. Oh, I touched my circle. So it picks up more paint. Oh, look at the outside. It looks blurry and kind of glowy, like, like a fog. That's pretty, right? I, I don't touch the middle. She's fine. She's fine. I just would like to put some, some dry, like, goobers, you know, fuzzy little chalk, um, small, a uh, uh, fog, no, mist. Mist is a good word. But look what I did right there when I stopped. It came to a stop and you can literally see, see, whatever. It was an oops. Who got a cool, cool looking blurry outside? Blurry, blurry, blurry. I went outside. Who's trying to stay inside the lines of that glow? Everybody pause and look up. Is this actually a moon that we're painting? No. We're painting the glow around the moon. So stop staying inside the lines like it's an actual object. It's not. Go wee wee hoo around the big outside edge and put some more fuzzy, in invisible, dry. It's the glow, not the moon. So we're just making fun, glowy blur. Somebody asked a question I couldn't hear. Try again. Uh, Tyler asked again. I missed it again. It looks right. I think you mixed it a lot so it became baby blue. But it won't hurt nothing. It still looks like a glowing um, moon, right? And then did you go outside the lines on purpose with the dry, dry business? Okay. Now we have to clean our paintbrush so we have to lick it off. <gasps> No, I'm just kidding. So watch, you just get a paper towel and we f we just put it in there and fold it over and squeeze the paint out really hard. Like that. And it's all clean. And you can even do it another time and it will squeeze out the very last bit and now it's so dry it won't even, oh, it did paint my face. Okay, I lied. <laughs> Look what I did. I was trying to show off that it didn't have paint in it. I should have done it one more time. I'm making a mess. Don't paint your face. Kaden, you're behind a whole step. Go, go, go. And what's happening to our paint right now? Isn't she drying? Did we make it really, really thin? And once it's thin, is it drying? T touch your moon in the center of your thing and see if it's dry already. What? How fast does this paint dry? I know. We love that it dries fast, and we hate that it dries fast. Because you have to be in a hurry, because it will just evaporate. Okay, now let's put a moon. Okay, look at my moon. You're jealous of my moon? <laughs> no. Okay, so it's three, four fingers big, right? And because you're human, it's your parents' fault because they are human, you can't make a circle. I promise you can't. We trace things to make a good circle. But you know what two shapes you can do perfectly is a rainbow and a smile. How come? 
because those shapes are in letters and numbers that you already have memorized since you're a tiny baby. But a circle, no. But if you go rainbow, smile, you'll get a really good circle. Don't try to make a circle. This is what happens when you make a circle. Whoops, I ruined it. Whoops, I ruined it. Whoops, I ru You can't make a circle. So make a perfect rainbow, which you can do, and then a smile. And then your brain will go, yes! Okay, so we're gonna use our finger again. But, because the paintbrush just, it, it doesn't make it smooth. But you know what makes it smooth? Look at how much paint I actually, I, I, I had wiped, I had dropped it, and then I got it all over me. But it will wash off, right? So, not the bone of your finger, not the hard part, but this squishy, bouncy part is your smooth part. So, we'll, we'll paint it on there, but then, then you fill in the circle with this, and it's very smooth, like a real moon. And if a little bit of blue peeks through, it looks good. Okay, so we're going to use our finger, white paint, right? And it will take a separate poke for the rainbow, and then a poke more paint for the smile. You'll run out trying to do it at once. Watch. Okay, let me bring it closer. I have to switch hands then. You ready? So I'm going to go poke, and I just touch the white paint. Hello. And then, oh, let me put my four fingers up there so I can see how big it is. I want, I want to see. Oh, yeah. That's way bigger than I imagined. All right. And then I just go, okay, rainbow. Wait, before I move. Is that four fingers? No. Okay. Rain, rainbow. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then I get a poke more paint to do the smile. Smile. Okay, that's better. I did I tr and then look at the ratty little dry edge. So it looks like it glows. And my trick is true. It's true. You can't make a circle, but you can make a make a uh, Elijah. Try, go like this. Look, Elijah. Elijah, go, rainbow, rainbow, then go, smile, smile, rainbow, rainbow, okay? And then, with what's left on your finger, can you fill it in? Woo! Okay, mine's too dry. I need some more white. I thought I had way more on my finger than I did. A little bit more white. I'll fill it in. Okay. And look how I stay inside the lines. How come? Because humans don't go outside the lines once you outline. It's true. Because of all of our training since we were babies, we don't go outside the lines. I'm trying to sm smooth mine. Look at that. I'm using the flat, 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 smooth side of my finger. Nice. Oh, look at my baby blue turned slightly dark in areas and light in areas. And I don't even care. I didn't have enough paint and it made a ratty edge. A nice thick amount of paint is what makes it have a nice smooth edge there. Sweet! Ew, my finger is filthy. Napkin. Whatever. It'll come off at the end. Who got a cute? Oh, oh, and put four fingers in it because you can adjust your size still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a full moon. It's not a baby little, little nickel right and we're using our one finger and the flat poofy part of our finger because she's soft and bouncy mm -hmm. the tip of your finger is like a bone and then we can't use more than one finger because they all do their own whatever they want and that's a one finger is more controllable right okay who thinks that looks good oh no and does it have a neat glowy outside and then the outside of your moon is kind of glowy? Okay, check for 3D. Does your blue have some dark areas, some medium areas, some light areas? If it doesn't, go, oh, okay, I think I kept mixing and just stirring the white into the blue. I don't think I understood 3D. So we never get mad, we just do better, right? So we'll work on that again when we start doing our fireflies, okay? And, and we'll, we'll try better with the spiral. But you know what a nighttime sky has? Stars. We don't have any stars. What is our stars? What? Oh, what are those? What if we just use not our paintbrush, not the paintbrush, but the stick of the paintbrush? 
Watch this. Now I'm going to use my littlest one, or use whatever little one. Wait, mine is gone. Is it stuck in my napkins? Where did mine go? I think I dropped. I made glow in the dark paint with it. There she is. She was stuck in my napkin. <laughs> okay, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna put not this part. What will the what will my uh, bristles do? Right? They'll just go. Bleh, bleh, bleh. They won't look like stars. But what if I turn my paintbrush over and I just use my stick? Isn't it like a little tiny fingerprint? Book, 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 right? So I just need white and it's deceiving. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of white on the outside, but it doesn't matter. It's just what's on the end. But it, don't do it yet. Watch me. I'm going to go hold it straight ahead. But the very first one I put is going to be very bright, like a planet really close to us. But as I jump away, jump away. It's smaller, 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 smaller. I'm not putting them in a straight line, but they're running out of paint, running out of paint, running out of paint. So that invisible one must be a very far, far galaxy. So I give it permission to run out of paint. Okay, and then I get another poke, poke. And it's deceiving because it looks like there's paint on the side, but don't try to use that side paint. It makes weird shapes, not stars. So then I can go all the way near the grass and near the jar and near the moon, and then I ran out of paint. See, it still looks like there's paint, but none's coming off because the end, the stick is done. Okay, so I get more poke. Now you do it. Okay, I'm gonna go really close to the sides because I want my painting to look like the stars go on for infinity. Okay, that's, that's all I got. I gotta get more paint already. <laughs> boink, 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 hop, 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 hop. I like, look, look at how they're all different sizes that way. Running out of paint is a trick for getting different sizes. Okay, want to see something weird, you weirdo humans? After you do it, are they all evenly spaced apart? Are they two fingers apart or three fingers apart? You, you know why? Because of how you write the alphabet and the letters, right? It's like, oh, and what if you ruin one? Look at me. Oh no, that's not a star, I ruined it. I'll just put one of my fireflies on it. I don't care. Okay, so now I, I want to put more, but maybe we can make like little clusters, like um, other galaxies. Watch this. I'm going to make little families because they're, they're all evenly spaced apart. So I just go, hello, you could be a little family. And then you can be a little family. And a little group over here. Oh, you know who I who's jealous right now? The other side of the of the jar and the moon got nothing. Oh, let me go fix that. Oh, they're so mad over here. Okay, I need more. Poke. Over here. Oh, in the corner. Jealous. Around my moon. Jealous. Fun. Who has good stars? You don't need very many clusters, but you see how it breaks up the pattern of perfectly spaced ones, right? And I'm using my stick just to make little tiny, 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 tiny stars. Doesn't it look good? And use your stick. And then spread them out. They're not friends. Over here, then over here, then way over here. But don't put them in a row. I've never seen that in my whole life. Think, 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 think. No, those are buttons. Cute, right? Oh, my stick is filthy and that's gonna get all over my hands. So when you're done with stars and you feel good about it, just clean off your stick. There. Now it won't get all over my hand and everything. Who feels good about that? Isn't that cute? And then who thinks the little cluster really helped it look like space? And then once we put our fireflies on there, just don't try to protect your stars. They're way behind your fireflies. You just put your fireflies wherever you want to and the stars have to deal, right? They're behind. So if you land on one, so we don't, we don't care. Okay, now we get to make fireflies. Who's ready? Okay, so they're at, we're gonna go in rainbow order and it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. 
Okay, so there's you can't the gel on top is giving me a weird reflection in here. It looks better in person, but it goes. Uh, there's always two of a color in the jar, so two red ones in the jar, and then five red ones jump away. But you know where they're trying to go to? This corner. So it's like a you know that uh, that math game where it's an alligator's mouth, right? Ah, right. So it's coming out of the jar. Not the moon, right? Not down by the grass, but it's ah, 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 right? Like that. So <clears throat> we're gonna put two in the jar. Let's just make those two, cause, cause you know when you're doing something for the first time, your brain's like, what is she talking about? So frustration and confusion is necessary, right, first. Then you do it and then you understand it. And then after you understand it, it's boring. Right? So we have to do the frustrating ones first, where you're like, what is she talking about? But we're going to go in rainbow order. So let's do red ones first. Cuteness. And red's my favorite color. See? Right? And then there, uh, 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 Firefly is only the size of your fingerprint. So everybody put your fingerprint in the jar. And you're like, oh, that's all? You know why? Look how many colors we have to do. If we are not careful and count them and stuff, you'll have way too many of every color. And by the time you're at purple, there's no room. So, and it's a fingerprint big, okay? And it's a spiral. Is this gonna be a circle? No. And do I care if black peeks through? Mm -mm. Built-in shadow, okay? So listen and be frustrated. That's part of it. So. This little paintbrush, I could just like poke my paint and get just the right amount of paint because she's little and that's all she can get. Oh, except for who had the, the big yellow paintbrush as her only paintbrush? Uh, 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 one outside. Where'd she go? I lost her name. Oh, well, she has a big paintbrush, so don't poke as her. Okay, poke like that. And then we'll just put, um, and put your fingerprint on there just so you can remind yourself. Yeah, it's only that big. And then... What, everybody pause and look up and watch me. I'm going to make a spiral and not a circle. And that's all I put. Yep. What, lady? That's the what? It doesn't even look good. Maybe I should go back and smooth it. No. I'm trying to make a spiral texture. That means some parts will be thick where I first landed and some parts will be thin where I ran out of paint. Exactly. And Talia, you're doing very softly, so your paintbrush will stay at a little point, right? So yours very soft. Okay, now let's get more paint and do poke the red paint, poke, and do another one, but not touching, right? Whee! Okay. Whoop. Is that a fingerprint? Yeah. And then this is what we're going to do like 50 million times is we need one paper towel that's dedicated to cleaning our paintbrush. Because look at this paintbrush. Can I go get white with this paintbrush right now? It will ruin my white. So I just give it a pinch. Get the extra off. Well, right a minute. And look at it won't it won't hurt nothing. See? Oh, it came out. I'm such a liar. Okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of white. Remember when we put the blue, how much blue paint did it take? For the for the for the glow around the moon a lot then how much white a little bit so if that's how much red i put how much white is it gonna take uh a teeny tiny speck so everybody pause and look up here i go i'm gonna get speck a tiny tiny i'm just gonna sneak up on it and there's no way to know the right amount you'll have to get used to it that's the frustrating part watch and I go and go and I touched it. <gasps> now you can do it. And are we going to stir in this white to make pink? No. Pink is an accident. We are trying to make a white spiral. And some red gets nothing. That's dark. Red and white makes pink. And sometimes I even get a white string. Okay, watch. Let me show you. Everybody pause. So I'm going to touch the land in the middle and go. And it only takes like three swirls and you're done because it's so tiny. So I go, oh, 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 land and go around that one, around that one, around that one. Stop! What happens if I touch it one more time? 
I just mix it together and make pink. So I'm only allowed to just, just very gently float on top of the red and make a swirl. Do I have white piece left? Yeah. Do I have pink? Yeah. Do I have red? Yes. That's 3D! Dark, medium, light. What if I swirl it and smash it all together? Medium. Does anybody fall in love with medium? No? Dark, medium, and light is 3D. Okay, tiny, tiny speck, speck of white again. It's a look. Okay, that look at that's ridiculous. I got the look at how much white I that's not gonna do nothing. Try again. Who got too much white? Excellent. So now you can adjust. Who got too little of white? Excellent. So now you can adjust. That's why with the first two we're doing slow. So we can be frustrated on only two of them. Okay. So now let me go do the other one. Okay. Okay. Here I go. I'm going to land right and go swirly, swirly, swirl. Stop. And that's all he gets. Just a throw. I'm not smashing it in and making the pink. Oh, and, and Alexander, don't use water. That water is the water. We're going to use all the rainbow colors. It's going to turn, your water will turn brown and make all your colors uh, look dirty. So I would just, just use your paper towel to pinch and clean then use water. Because if water drips down your painting, it raises all your paint off. It's called a solvent to acrylic paint and you'll be mad. Just trust me. I've done this before. You can trust me. Yeah. And dirty paint water always ends up on the floor. Okay. So who understands that? Who thinks, okay, that came out white and I hate mine. Uh, this lady is crazy. Well, those are our two frustrating ones. Let's do five where we understand it. All right. Who thinks you needed more red paint to make a better spiral? Get more red paint. Who thinks they need less white next time? Get less white. Adjust. Okay, I'm going to stab my red paint. Stab. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a giant. I didn't mean to get that giant booger. Okay, there. And then how many fly away? Two in the jar and five fly away. I always put one really close to the jar, right? And I try to jump away. Not in a straight line. I'm trying to jump away in a zigzag. Somebody watch me. So I go, okay, one near the jaw, Wee! wait, let me make sure. Yeah. And then, and then I get more red and I go, okay, and I'm going to jump away. Woo. And then, woo, like a zigzag pattern. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he didn't make it to the corner that time. Hey, that zigzag pattern made two straight lines. That's weird. Oh, well. No, I'll, I'll, I'll mix it up more when I put the other color. And then, uh-oh, I just made my paint really, really thin on my canvas. What happens right away? It starts drying, right? How many, how many flew away? One, two, three, four, five. And where are they heading to? They're heading to this corner. So I like to put one there. And then who had to stop and get more red paint? I know, it only lasts for like one or two. Then you have to get more or won't be red enough. You know what I mean? The red has to be red and then a little bit of white. Don't be afraid of how much paint you use. Slop it on there. Make it red. Right? Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush because this is filthy and it will ruin my white paint. So without water, I'm just going to give it a nice hard pinch. Pinch! Squeeze! Pin it really hard! Oh, I always break my paint my paintbrush when I do this. So be careful. Okay, and then how much white? Okay, last time, I think I got too much. So I'm gonna try for a smaller poke. Or I, I didn't get enough and mine were invisible. So I adjust that, okay. So I'm gonna, um, cause how, what's the only way to learn stuff on earth? By doing it. When the teacher shows you math, did you learn math? No. When do you actually learn the math? When you do it. Right? So you're like, I don't know. Well, I know. You haven't done it yet. So let's go. Okay, poke. Okay, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. And then I swirl it in my red. And how many times do I swirl? One time. Don't mix it in. Try to get that spiral de design. <gasps> I land in the middle. Around and around and around. Cute! Look it. I got red pieces and white pieces and pink pieces. 
How soft did I have to do that? So soft, it's like I'm floating on top of the red paint. Now I need to, oh, look at, I smashed my paintbrush and she looks flat. Why did I do that? I need to turn her plaque into a point. Okay, there, now she's pointy. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Okay, now I get a speck of white. Okay, let's see if this one's even better. A speck and spin. Whee! Okay. Is that one better? Okay, and then try to texturize the next one. Whee! Okay. That was almost no white at all, but it came out all right. I'm not sad about it. And then I get a ton of, ton of, itty bitty, little, 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 itty bitty poke. And then spin. Oh, okay. Spin. Uh, oh, that was almost no white at all. Did I still get my texture? I still got my little spiral texture. And look, at I got red pieces and white pieces and pink pieces. Do I spin it in until it's a white gumball? No. It's all about, okay. So... Do you have one that came out your fave? That's proof you can do this, right? Who keeps spinning theirs in? And just... Oh, no. It's a spiral texture. Okay? So, that was... The, these first two are our ugliest ones. The ones in the jars. Ugly! How come? They were our first ones. We were learning. We were frustrated and confused. And then who understands it doing these five? I know. So guess what? We could do all the colors and it's going to become boring. It's so easy. Watch. Okay, so I clean my paintbrush. And what comes after uh What comes after red? Oh, my orange fell on the ground. I found her. She I lost her. She was on the floor. Okay, where is my orange? Oh, look at all this orange I gave you. You're going to have to paint rocks or something. Don't throw this away. It's fabulous paint. Okay, so uh, how much paint do you think you need to make a fingerprint fire firefly? A lot? Just poke your paint. Could we get more if we need to? Yeah. Poke. Poke. Ugh. And then how many go in the jar? Two. Okay, so fingerprint. I always check because I tend to make mine too big. <laughs> so fingerprint, okay. And we okay. And then I'm gonna hold my jar because I don't like going and getting the paint. It's behind me. Okay. And then um and then another one. We okay. Oh, that was too big. Look at that. It's way bigger than my finger. See? I told you I always do them. Okay. Calm down. I'm trying to make them uh, fingerprint size. Okay. How many fly away? Five. Always put one near the jar first. And then they fly towards the, the corner. So I go, one, okay, two, I'm going to put one really low. Look at me, three, one really high, four, and then five, she almost made it to the corner. See, that was way more fun random than the red ones. I did a better job. I was more random, you know, I wasn't putting them in a straight line. Like, my brain wants to put them in a straight line. You know why? It's because of all the handwriting practice you did, you know. That's what you're, that's what you're taught, you know. Okay, so those are orange. And is that 3D and exciting? No, totally boring. One color. So let's clean our paintbrush. So how much white do you get? Who thinks you'll be more confident with how much white you get? I know, because you've done it. That's Earth. So... I should have, I might, I'm rooting for a piece of white. Then it will turn like a sherbet color where white and orange mix. What if I end up with some orange that got no white at all? Perfect. That's my dark orange. Okay, so where's my white? So I clean my paintbrush so I don't filthy up all my white. And I go, poke. <laughs> a little bit. And I'm going to spin it in there and I go, spin. Oh, let me go closer. I feel like I'm too far away. Okay, so I'm going to go, mm, I'm going to land right here, and I'm just going to go land in the middle and go, spin. Okay, that was very white. I think I didn't have enough orange paint on there, but I'm just going to forgive it and move on. Get a ton of speck, ton of speck, and spin it. Okay, that one was way more awesome. I like that one the best so far. Okay, and then I get a speck more white. Oh, it's getting orange in my, in my white. And then spin. Oh, okay. Ooh, 
Look, I got a piece of white. I'm not even going to go back and smash that white. That's super bright right there. I'm lucky. I have a piece of white that lived. I don't know if you're that lucky. Okay, now I get another piece of white. And I'm just going to spin it in this one. Whee! Okay. Oh, cute. And then another poke of white. Spin. Oh. And another piece of white. You're so jealous of me right now. Or am I jealous of you? Let me see. Spin. Whee! And I like the spiral texture. Not a gumball. And then look at your red ones already. Did the red darken as it dried? All paint darkens as it dries. So you're like, oh, you mean the white will get brighter and the paint color gets darker as it dries? Yes, because they all float in this white gel that turns clear like Elmer's glue. So the colors look darker when they're dry. So fun. Okay, clean your paintbrush. Who felt like orange was easier? I told you. So first, frustrating, confusing. What is this lady talking about? And then, oh, I think I understand it. By the time I get to purple, you're, it's going to be so boring. Okay, so what comes after? Oh, I'm going to put the lid on my red and lid on my orange. I don't want them to dry out. I'm going to use these for fun, fun, crafty things later. It only lasts about two more weeks before they dry out. So don't think you're going to put them in the closet and get them out a year from now. These are not watered. The air, the water is escaping out of this plastic like a balloon, you know. Okay, then what comes after orange? Yellow! Look at how much yellow I gave you. Do you know why? It's how we decorate the green grass with streaks. You can only paint up to make grass to make them pointy at the top. But look, there's yellow pieces and white pieces in my green. Okay, that's why I gave you a bunch. But for now, oh, there's still orange and red in my paintbrush. You know what that will do? It'll look like fire. I don't even care. So I'm going to poke my yellow poke. And then how many go in the jar? Two. So you decide where they go. It's your painting inside the jar. I don't know. One here in the corner. Uh, I don't know. I was making it up. Oh, it looks like fire. Look, the orange came out of it. You're jealous. Okay, and then another one. Phew. Okay. And then how many fly away? Yellow. Yellow. And and two are in the jar. Anywhere you want. Can I have a question? Yes, go ahead. Yes. I have a, what show me your colors, Tanya. Talia? No, all your colors. Is it the rain? That's not the rainbow color. You have the wrong set of paints. Is it red, orange? No, that's gray. That's for the owl. Those are the owl colors. Go ahead and keep making them. Do you know how to mix colors? Red, or, red and, and blue make purple and uh, stuff like that. You can make more colors. But that's why you had the fluffy, you had the fluffy paintbrush because that's from the owl kit. They got mixed up when they got passed out. No big deal. It happens. Just go with it. Just go with it like, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Whatever. Okay. So now I get the yellow and I need to make five fly away. So I'm just going to, okay, one near the jar. Hello. And one, two. Now I get to put them anywhere I want. Two. I'm going to go down low. Two, three. Oh, I put one near the side. One, two, three. Then four. Oh, look at that one came out not round at all. What did I just do? I'll fix it when I put the white on it. My, it came out really, really not like an egg. <laughs> okay, and then one last one at the top. Okay. And then who thinks the yellow is going to look really bright with, with we put the white on there? I It's going to be so pretty. So I clean my paintbrush. Pinch. And when you pinch it, I kept pinching it flat like a duck beak. Look what I did. I made it completely flat. That looks dumb, right? No, it's supposed to be a nice tiny point. Fix it. I never said that out loud, but I realized I was doing it, and it wasn't being nice and tiny and pointy. Okay, there. Now, who's, who's pretty confident with how much white you get? How, how did you learn that so fast? I know, because you have a great human brain for learning. Once you do something, does your brain learn it? Yes. 
but you have to trust yourself to go from frustrated to understanding when you do some things. You're like, too bad for you. Okay, I got a little pearl on the end. Okay, I'm gonna spin it in my white, and I would like it to be white and yellow and like lemon color. So I just go, way spin. <gasps> And I even have some black peek through. That's like built-in shadow. I know. I don't know. Okay, and then spin the white. And I get another poke for this yellow one. <gasps> That's pretty. I did a good job right there. And I get another poke for the, another yellow one. Whee! Oh. I think my yellow is my favorite. Oh, I know why. Because I've done it this many times, so I'm better at it. That's why I like it. Okay, spin. Now I have to fix, look at the ugly one I made. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing right there, but it is not a circle. So I'm just gonna, when I put the white on there, I'm gonna try to fix her shape into a circle. Okay, there. <sighs> yeah, it helped it. Okay, and a little bit more, cause this yellow one is jealous. And a little bit more for this yellow one. Who felt like the yellow ones came out your best? And you maintained the spiral and you didn't smash it in and just make gumball. I know, cuteness. Okay, clean our paintbrush and put the lid on yellow. Thank you, yellow. I like to keep the lids on, keeps from accidents and the air being stolen out of my paint and making it dry and sticky. So now I clean my paintbrush pitch. Red, orange, yellow, green. And this green is gonna be used to make grass. So I gave you more than you need for a tiny, of tiny of little, you know. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna go, at first I put the color on there, then I decorate it, right? So how many in the jar? Who feels like you totally understand this and you don't need my help anymore? Who would like to go ahead and ignore me and finish green, what is it? Green, blue, and purple? You just go, but I'll do, Do you can, everyone can follow me if you want to. Okay, so I'm gonna get green poke. And then how many go in the jar? Two. I gotta find two new spots. Um, one, two. Oh, this paint is a little bit see-through. Do you see her? She's like, like see-through. But you know who's not see-through? White. So white will help her not be see-through. White is called opaque. Can't see through it, like a table. Okay, so I put two in the jar. And how many fly away? Five, I put one close to the jar, and then I fly away. One, two, aw, I got, I covered up one of my beautiful clusters of stars, but my stars don't care. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then they're trying to get to the corner. Get them to the corner, and spread them out. It's a whole big alligator mouth, right? Oh, they could take up the whole painting if you want, right? Not down by the grass though, that looks weird. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Who thinks you can get the exact right amount of white this time? I know, don't tell me. Okay, clean my paintbrush pinch. Oh, and then turn her back to it. Look, I did it again. I made a, I don't know, a flattened it. So I, I want it pointy there. Cause I want it to be teeny, you know, not smooth like that. So I get the white and I just, Touch the white book and I spin it in my green. Who's beating me right now? Go right ahead. I don't care. I just go spin, way, and then another teensy tiny tiny poke of white and spin, way. Oh, I like that. Look how dark my green is that didn't get any white in contrast to the baby green it makes. I like it, and I'm not gonna smush it in. I like that cool texture but I can only use the very tip of my paintbrush, really soft, otherwise I just smash it in. It's like I'm floating on top of the paint is what I feel like. Wee spin. Let me do it again. Wee spin, okay. See, when some dark, oh, I'll show you. When some of the dark green still lives and I didn't smash it down, that looks really neat. I gave it permission to have dark pieces that got nothing and some baby green and then some white. I, that's fun. And I, and I don't feel like I have to go back and fix it. I enjoy seeing the three versions of color. Those are called color values. Dark, medium, light. Not just medium. 
right? And then I clean my paintbrush. What comes after green? Speedies. Blue, but we already know how blue comes out because we got to do the moon. So how many go in the jar? Kaboom, two. How many fly away? Ka five. Okay. Oh, I gotta stab my blue paint. I'll put two in the jar. One. Oh my gosh, look how dark that blue is. Good thing white's gonna help turn on the light. Okay, and one near the jar. And then four fly away. One, two, three, four. Look at how I, I gotta look for a space and I'm running out of space. Now I have to like step back and go, okay, where can I put these? Oh my God. Okay, Woo. all right. And then I clean my paintbrush. Who's doing blue already? I know, look at you. Is way past understanding and into easy. How come? Because we've done it a bunch and your brain's like, I got this lady. Stop talking. Yes, Elijah. Good blue. That's the good blue. Yep. And then that's very boring and dark without any white in it. So I'm going to definitely dig it. But I already know how cute the, the white and blue are together because we've seen that. So I'm going to spin that in. Swirl. Oh, that's my best one. Look at my best one. That's my best one. I don't know. I don't know. I paint all the time. And one comes out gorgeous. I don't know. I'm going to try again. Regular. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it yeah, goes really good. But really, all, what's the theme of the painting? It's really just the spiral texture. It's not, you know, not perfection. Oh, that came out cute. Not the perfect one though. My paintbrush keeps bending and smashing too hard. I'm trying to stay really delicate on the tip of my paintbrush so she stays little, but sure enough, if I don't smash, I don't know. I, but I'm learning my paintbrush at the same time I'm painting. So it's not like you got to go to, to how to paint school. There's only one way to learn how to do anything is to do it. So you're like, I don't think I'm doing it right. Well, it's your very first time, so you're doing it perfectly. There's only one way to learn some. Okay, what comes after blue? And then, are we... It's purple, right? A question? Did you have a question? I saw, I saw, I saw a question. Tara has a question. I did not have a question. Oh, okay, never mind then. Okay, it's purple last. But look how dark purple is. Where is she? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Where did I drop my purple too? Red, orange, yellow, green. Do you guys have purple? Do you have purple? Where's my purple? I'm looking under all my trashes. I have blue, I have black, I have white. Did I drop my purple somewhere? I'm so jealous of you right now. You have purple and I don't. Man, my purple has a little mixture of blue. Oh, that won't hurt because purple and blue are right next to each other on the color wheel. She'll just make a bluish purple. But I, I feel like I did drop it on the floor. I did! I dropped mine on the floor. <laughs> okay. So, oh, look at all this blue I get purple I gave you. You better make some cute craft with this. Do you guys ever paint rocks just for fun? Paint them and then write cute words on them and then and happy sayings and then you hide them in your neighborhood so people can find them just for fun. If you look up if you look up on the internet about painted rocks, so many ideas and I gave you the whole rainbow. So I'm just saying, but you have to wash your your rocks first. Okay, so blue purple. I missed it. Say it again. Well, yeah, you don't have that because that's not in your set, but you can make like a grayish blue. You can, because you need red and blue to make purple, right? You could just invent a color. Blue and green makes turquoise. Blue, green, and, yeah. 
You will have turquoise ones. I'm just saying. Okay, so I got my purple and two go gosh, good thing we counted. Look how dark purple looks on the canvas. She's gonna need White's help. Oh my God, she, what? And she'll dry completely black without White's help because all colors darken as they dry. So you're like, oh, if I let this dry with no white, you mean it would be invisible on the black canvas? Yes. Okay, how many fly? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking for holes in, in mine. Look at my pattern of my fireflies. Okay, I, I see some spots I could put some, right? I'm looking for holes now. I could put one here. I could put one here. Okay, where else? And put one here. Put one down low. Okay. Oh, that was more than five though. Oh well. And then, oh, what color is um purple and white gonna make? A lavender color. So, but still very gentle. Who's perfect at getting the amount right amount of white already? I know. Cause you have an excellent human brain. So, and you, you did it, so you learned it. So I'm going to get a little polka white and then go spin it in my purple and watch the light come on. It's so fun and pretty. And you spiral texture. Wee! <gasps> I got purple, lavender, and white. Are you already, did some of you beat me? Natalia, you beat me, but I told you to beat me. I told you to beat me. Because nobody should be bored. Okay, and then spin. Oh, okay, that was too much white. Okay, calm down with getting the white. I think I was being too hyper getting my white paint. Poke, okay, spin, wee, okay, and then spin, spin. Oh, that one is a good one for me. I, I like the texture on that one I just did too. Do you guys reward yourself and say nice things to yourself when you do something good? Or do you just say the mean parts? Oh, you did that terrible. I try to say the good parts too when I do do something good. Both are legit. I can say I did get something good and when I did something bad, right? Like, oh, I need to work on that. That was terrible. Or, oh, I did that one awesome. You know, it's my brain. My brain gets very offended to be criticized all the time by its own self. Okay, put the lids on. Okay. I don't want them to dry out. Where's my lid to my blue? My lid to my purple. I always forgot to say it, huh? And then green lid. Where'd you go, green lid? Don't you dare dry out on me. All right. There you are. Ew. I'm making a mess. Look at my hands. I keep getting more messy. Okay. But it comes off with water, right? So it doesn't scare me as soon as you get the paint wet on your hands and you let it soak in it'll turn back to glue and come back okay now we're gonna put some glow in the dark paint on our um moon okay and we're just gonna use a finger and we're gonna put it on the look at this all dry right not on the fireflies they're sopping wet and they will just make a smear right but the moon is dry and it's gonna look like glue but it dries clear like elmer's glue Right? So I go, okay. <gasps> it won't open. There. Oh, I kind of glued the edges when I, oh, because I used my paintbrush when I scraped out the, uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to, uh, hey, it's settled on the bottom again. Those little beads. Don't use your paintbrush, your paintbrush. You know what? We could use our stick. How come we can't use our paintbrush? Our paintbrush is filthy. Use your stick. I already lost it. And we can stir it again. Look at those little pieces down there. Scratch the bottom. Oh, listen. Oh my God, it's crunchy. How did they fall to the bottom again? What the heck? <laughs> stir that. Those. It's the. It's the little beads. So this is how they make it. They put glow in the dark powder in plastic right? Because it's poisonous. But then they trap the, the glow in the dark paint, uh, chemical inside the plastic. Then they chop up the plastic so small like powder and that's the powder. So it's heavier than the gel it's in. So it keeps sinking to the bottom. So, there. Now I wipe off my stick on my on the sides, you know. But look, let's see. 
put the lid on before I do that because you know I will spill it. I am famous for it being un not careful. Put the lid back on. And I go, oh, it is glowier because it's been sitting out on the table all this time. You have to block out all the light, right? It is a little glowier. Okay, now we're gonna use our finger and we're just gonna put it on the, not on the moon, on the glow part. And it just looks like a bunch, but we don't care that it's not smooth. It looks like skips and dashes, but it looks pretty. So we're gonna go around it like this and go, way, way. And it, watch, I'll show you, I'll show you. You guys watch. I go, I go, I get it, and I go, whew. And it makes this skips and, let me put it thicker so you can see. But I go, whew. and wherever it's super thick like that, that's a lot of powder. Does that make sense? So I'm not scared to have it in thickened spots because that's more powder than is in the thin parts. Because this gel is just dropping off the powder for us and making it stick, right? Wee! Wait, should I scribble side to side? No, that's not the pattern, right? And I'm just using the glow in the dark gel. Wee! Oh, oh. Wait, let me look at, I can see it better in the reflection. Look, you guys, I'm going to tilt it, so, or look like this. Trying to get the light, oh, there, I can see it now. Okay, oh, I need to put some more right there. It's, it needs some more. Okay, but spiral, spiral, sp okay, okay. Oh, I could go, how about in the dry world? Out in the dry, glowy part? I could put some out there. I'm not scared. Now we're going to put it on the moon, but don't we want the moon brighter than the glow part, right? So we're going to use the nice flat part of our finger and fill in the moon, but keep putting more paint and then flatten it and try to get it as thick as you can, really soft. So the moon has its thickest, right? So that it will be the, and we have to use our finger, right? Be, how come? Because of our paintbrush is dirty. So we just go, oh. And I just keep putting more and more on it and using my finger to flatten the paint so I can really feel that it's smooth. And, and I just, I can get more. But I'm using my finger to make it very flat and smooth this, and as soft as I can. If I use the bone of my finger, I will scratch this off. So I'm doing it super soft. Oh, smooth. Nice. And that's going to dry while we do grass. Did you get your glow paint on there? Smell your glow paint. Smells like um, Windex to me. It's a chemical, right? So if you play with this, because you might have glow in the dark paint left over. I had kids put it on their face. You don't put it near your eyes. Doesn't it smell like it would hurt your eyes? Right? Like, no. Don't mess. Don't eat it. Right? So that's a good way of telling things. Like, I don't, I don't think so. Don't play with it in your, I'm going to put glow, the boys, the, the boys, they wanted to put glow in the dark stripes on their face, but they put, and then it started, the fumes got in. I was like, what are you doing? It's burning. You put stuff on your face. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid on because I don't want it to dry out because we got to make grass. Right. Okay. You ready to make grass? Let me show you. So we're gonna use our biggest paintbrush and she's got blue on it, right? And and just go like this and just bounce it up and down. You're, it's stiff, right? Why, what's in it? Hard plastic. But if you just bounce it on your hand, we just need to break it up a little. It's not clean, but it'll be soft enough to, you know, use again. La 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 la, la la la, yeah, fine. Okay, now she bends. Okay, so this is how you make green grass. I mean, it's literally the, uh, but the texture is not a spiral, right? Because that would not make sense. But what is the texture? The texture is going up. Okay? I want it to go, I cannot go up and down. That'll make square tops and it will look like a fence. So I can only touch the bottom and go up. And then what's that uh, pencil line for? It just says go higher than that. 
I seen people make teeny tiny baby grass. I'm like, no, the jar is supposed to be, you put the grass on the jar. So look how tall. Yeah, it's, otherwise it's being abducted by aliens and floating away. No, I need my jar in the grass, right? But let me show you. I stab, I stab my green like this. So I, I go land and flick up, land and flick. Oh, and can they touch each other? Yes, it's grass. And can they be spend a little? Sure, right? Woo, like that. But look how see-through that green is. You can see the plate right through it. So right after we're done, and then, oh yeah, pause. Everybody pause and look up. Here, watch me ruin it. Everybody watch. Okay, I go up and then down, up and down, up and down. That's an F, right? You're like, no, it looks like a box. I don't know why does it, it just erases the tip, the pointy, right? So we can only go up, up. That's how you get the points. Does that make sense? The texture is up. Okay, now watch. Now I'll get yellow. Oh no, it goes like this. Then I get white and I go poke, 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 all over my green. Watch, I'm showing you first for your brain. Everybody stop, watch. And then I get yellow and put streaks of yellow in my green, watch. And I ax, remember when we put the dots in the moon and just streaked them? And I just go whoosh. I get streaks of green white and and yellow isn't that pretty oh i can even put green on top of that watch because i put too much yellow and then look at that neat texture it got that is a streak of green yellow and white should i scribble them together like this what color is that then no fun at all medium no i go scratch and I float the yellow on top of the green and the green on top of the yellow and the white on top of that. Oh, you guys ready? It's not hard. It's just super fun. Okay, and what if a little bit of black shows? Shadow, but just a little, okay? So find your green paint and we just stab it like we're mad. <gasps> so we can get a lot and it only makes like two pieces of grass, right? So I, oh, mine has white on my paintbrush. So mine's going to look, oh, it'll, you'll, it will, you'll be able to see it better because of my white. So I just go stab and I look, what? Is she kidding? This much paint? That's too much paint, right? No, watch. I touch the very bottom and go flick up. Oh, <gasps> look at it, right? But you can see because I have white in my paintbrush or all the way on the edge and, and just go, Hey, this is a comb. Does that look like grass? No. I have to put some in between each one of those. Crazy. So I, that's like a comb. Like I'm going to comb. No. I just go, oh, they're all touching. Up, up. Up, up. And don't dilly dally. What happens as soon as you start putting. Oh, I got. Oh, wait. I got. Wait. I got to touch the bottom of my paint painting. Look at me. I didn't even touch the bottom of my painting. Silly. Okay. I, as soon as I make it thin, what starts happening? It starts to dry. So we have to rush through. Who cares about the grass? We have to rush through it so we can decorate it. Right? So I stab my green like I don't care and go flick up, 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 flick up. Flick up. Okay. I won't say that a hundred times, I promise. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's see-through. Uh, and I didn't touch the bottom. Why not? What the heck? Oh, yeah, I'm holding it. It's more awkward for me. That's what it is. Okay, up, up. Up. Look at, you can see my Sharpie line. You won't be able to see your pencil, I promise. And look how fast I'm doing it, everybody. Look at me. I'm not, I, I don't care. Up, 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 up. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. I'm not, and I do not go up and down. That makes those squares, right? You can't go up and down. That's a box. No, at no, no, no. So I just go up, 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 up. Hey, I keep missing the bottom. Anyone else doing this? Look what I did. I need to have the green touch the bottom of the painting. Oh, there. Okay, I'm near my jar. Do I let it touch the jar? Yes, the jar is in. The grass. Okay, to go all the way to the edge of your painting. Look at all the edge. The edge is jealous. The very side of your painting gets the jealous. 
Jealous, 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 jealous. Let me decorate it for it. Let me just swipe it now for texture. Up, 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 up. Good texture, good texture, good texture. Okay. Now everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, I want to get a stab of my white. Ew, it's full of color. Don't care. And I'm just going to put them like, la, 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 la. What are these for? Because we're going to grab them and flick them up and decorate. Okay, they're just going to sit there. Everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. Now I get my yellow and I redecorate all the green with some yellow. Flick. Oh, oh, I hit a piece of white. Flick up. Oh, 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 e, oh. And then I start to run out of yellow and then the grass gets darker and I might hit white and I might not. And it's none of my business. Oh, non, look, it just turned green and white. That is boring. More yellow. It's the yellow. And then after I do it, and I'm like, I think I just made yellow grass. Uh, I don't like mine, teacher. How am I having yellow? Can we go back over it and put green? Yes. We can darken it with green after we do the yellow because the green is drying so fast. It's not making cool streak. We could do it twice then. We don't care. Hey, I'm doing that thing again. Look, I'm not touching the bottom. Can you guys look at mine? Can I, I'm going to do it on my easel so you can see. Look, touch the very bottom and flick up just for texture. I just smash my paintbrush on the easel. I can't seem to get the paint to touch the bottom of the painting. There. Okay. Up, up, up. Wow, that is some yellow looking grass. Can, can I, um... Add some more green. Jess, you just decorate away. I would like some more green. I'm going to get some green. And I'm going to go, okay, I just clearly put too much yellow there. And I, oh, my God. Look at when I put the second layer of green on. Look at the streaks it makes. The yellow and green streaks. I'm not scrubbing them together to make a color. I like it when they, remember our spiral, how it made 3D? We're giving it permission to have dark green, medium green with some yellow, and some bright green with the white. And I'm being gentle when I go back and put the green because I like, I like looking at the streaks, the different colors it makes. It makes me happy. Painting anyone can do. Making colors is the bomb. And remember, don't dilly-dally because do, don't we just ruin the grass when we go and decorate it with color? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm putting my green on perfect. Don't put the green on perfect. We ruin it again when we go put the yellow and the white on it. So don't be like, oh, my green grasses are perfect. No, we kind of ruin them, touching them so many times. Who got some dark green pieces, some, some bright green pieces, some yellowy green pieces? Who thinks it's pretty? Me, 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 me. And then... How did you trust yourself to do that and to give it permission to be 3D? Why, why do you understand that about paint now? Because we did it up there. And you stopped yourself from smashing the paints together and just making one color. Now you're like, oh, no, no, I, li I like it with the texture. And I like it with the 3D action when colors rest on each other but not mixed together. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, I gave myself permission to do that. Because I didn't understand it. I wouldn't have been able to make the grass first. Because I wouldn't have understand paint. That you don't have to mix paints together all, all, all the way. Right? You can let them just rest near each other. And then we can clean our paintbrush pinch. Can some can, uh, teacher, Miss Norris, could you tell me what number of paintbrush you have, the yellow one? I feel like I have a smaller one than you guys. It's four. Yeah, I have a four. Okay, I just want to make sure. Some of you guys are like, man, you're making some good grass, and I thought you had the bigger paintbrush that made nice, I don't know. I was all jealous. I don't know. Okay, so now I have to make a tree. Are you scared? Look at the tree. Look at the tree. Oh my God, no, don't be scared. It's a pattern. I have not taught you anything that's hard. 
Watch me show you the pattern of tree and you'll never make an ugly tree again. Who's still working on grass? Decorate, decorate. Go fast, Caden. Just throw that paint on there and watch the magic happen. Do not delicately paint. Paint like a crazy person and you will love watching it happen. Okay, just like flick, flick, flick the paint on there, flick, flick, and it's more enjoyable and cuter and funner and I don't know, there's more happiness when you're, if you're being all perfect about it, you get the ugly voice in your head. You know what I mean? The one that says wrong, 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 right there. Okay, we're going to make this tree. So when you're ready and you finish your grass, can you turn your painting up so the moon's on the bottom? It's a trick. Because, pick, watch when I do this. Oh, this will be easier to draw going up, right? That'll be, that makes more sense to your brain. And then when we tilt it back like this, you go, oh yeah, yeah, that's a branch. But if I paint it like this, my brain goes, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I will recognize the pattern easier to draw. Okay. And this is going to be black. And we're going to use our yellow paintbrush, but I want mine tinier than, you know, I'm going to try to make the point back on it there. How's it going? Oh, Caden is making the colors. Look at you go. So fun. Okay, Alexander, you're getting dirty. Well, we can't have fun unless we get dirty. How are you going to make mud pie things unless you get filthy, right? And then remember, Karina, you can always go back and if yours came out too yellow, you add green on top. Right? Go ahead and add some green on top. Because you're like, it's not yellow grass. It's green, green and yellow grass. So you're like, oh, it needs a little bit of calm. Because can you darken things as much as you can brighten things? Mostly we've been brightening things with a brighter color. You can get a darker color and tell things to calm down. You're too much. Right? Oh, do you like that with the green? Isn't that more grass-like? All right. Okay, so I have to give you a lecture about trees, and you're going to hate this because it's all talking. And do we learn very much from, from the teacher talking? No. You learn by doing. But I need to give you an idea of something before we attempt it. Is that okay? So it's a teacher thing. I'm, I'm trying to like, and I'll try to use good words so it forms a picture in your head. And then we attempt it. Okay, everybody pause and look up. Right? Cadence, can you watch me? Can you be done soon? Okay, because watch. I want to show you. Everybody look. This is how you make a tree when you were a baby. I'm using a Sharpie. But it was like this. Who made that tree? Right? Oh, look it. I made a tree. Oh. And then you put that fluffy thing on top and you called it a tree. That's not a tree. You know what that is? That is a Groot. Because he has a body and two arms. And the arms are attached like ours, directly across from each other. Trees would never do that. That would make this a weak spot on the trunk. So this is how trees go. Let me show you. I'm going I'm to use my black paint and my, my number four paintbrush. Where's my black? Blue, it, blue and uh, purple keep trying to trick me that they're black. And they're not. Okay. <laughs> they look so dark. Okay. Here's my blick. I'm going to show you. But, okay, it's not a pencil, right? Doesn't um everything in nature it go from thick to thin? Didn't our grass, when you landed hard, it was thick? And by the time you made the point, it was skinny? That's nature, right? So my arm is thick where it's attached to my body, but thin all the way down to fingernails. Right? So when everybody pause and look up, don't paint or anything. Everybody stop painting. Okay, Emery, you just made your, you're ruining your moon because we're going to put black on top of that and it's going to streak the white and make gray. Okay, watch. Everybody watch. So I cannot hold it like a pencil. Why? Because when you hold it like a pencil, you're trying to push down on the paper and get the pencil lead to scratch off right? So use a lot of pressure. We can't use a lot of pressure on a painting because what happens to the paintbrush? <laughs> and it will just go like this. <laughs> no. We're going to hold our paintbrush. Everybody look 
upside down. And we're going to pull our paintbrush. Show me, show me. Hold your paintbrush upside down. Show me. Stop painting, Jasmine. Show me. Upside down paintbrush. And we pull. And not like this. Woo! No. We our elbows on an elevator and we go we and the, it'll just get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier all by itself. A tree. Okay, watch. So I get the black paint, upside down paintbrush, and I go smash. That's obviously the big part. And then I pull, pull, upside down paintbrush, upside down paintbrush. It gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. And skinnier, and skinnier, and skinnier. But that is a branch, right? Thick to thin. How'd I do that? I held my paintbrush upside down and pulled. It's like this. Uh, uh, right? So watch. Now, now everybody pause and look up. Here's the pattern. Remember when I said it can't have branches like this? Watch. I make a branch. And I go smash and I pull. Oops, you can't see that. And then I go a little higher, but I cannot put one directly across from it. That'll make a fork. No, I have to go up the branch a little bit on the other side and make another one. And then I, oh, I did it. Okay, I did exactly what I said not to do. Let me redo it. Upside down paintbrush, smash. And what if it's not perfectly straight? It's a stick, right? Now I'm going to go, I land and go to the right. And then I go a little higher on the other side and go to the left. And then I go higher down the other side and go to the right. And then I go a little higher and go to the left. Did any of them touch? No, I didn't make any V's. But look, I can make twigs. But how soft do I have to do it to make twigs? I don't want my paintbrush to open. So I did it really soft. Okay, watch. So I go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left. I can't really see. I'm <laughs> doing it at an angle. Then to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Tree! Have you seen that pattern before outside? It's not this where it's two arms. That's Groot, right? No, no, no. So it's to the, okay. So you guys ready? You want to do it with me? Okay. So you have to trust it. Do it my way because I have done this before. Okay. Upside down. Turn your painting, Kaden. Kaden, we're ready to flip. Okay. Clean your paintbrush. You can get black. And then how much black? Just stab your black. Because we have far to go, and we don't want to run out. So I stab my black step. <gasps> and I, how do I hold my paintbrush? Upside down, and I'm going to pull right there. Watch me. I'm going to land, right, because it's coming off the page. I don't know. The tree's over here somewhere. So I upside it, and I'm going to hit. I'm going to go right on top of the moon, and I don't even care. So I go smash, and I pull. I pull. My arm's on an elevator. Pulling, pulling, it's getting skinny all by itself. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I let go. It's getting so tight. I let... <gasps> How'd I do that? My arm's on an elevator. Now you try it. You cannot go like this. That'll make a huge fat paintbrush. You cannot pull it up like that. You pull it, pinch it with your fingers and pull. Okay, now you do it. See if it's true. See if it's true. Remember, upside down paintbrush, as soon as you turn it like a pen, paintbrush or like a pencil, your paintbrush opens really big. So upside down paintbrush to keep her pointy, right? Who thinks that worked? Did it go thick on the bottom? Skinny at the top? Pulling? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get more paint. Stab the black. Let's make some branches. Okay, well, I'm going to make one branch really low to the bottom. And do you guys know the word parallel? that lines go next to each other, don't cross. So tree branches go straight up. They don't go out, okay? They go up, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hear I'm gonna do the same thing, upside down paintbrush, you ready? So I smash and then pull next to her and go up, up, but she'll be shorter. And, 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 short. <sighs> That's a little fat. I made mine a little thick, right? Upside down paintbrush is the trick. Did it get skinnier at the end? And remember, don't pull back down to fix it. What will happen? Huge paintbrush, giant line. Right? It's a up only, like grass. Now get your black again. Black! Okay, can I put another one right there touching? No. I have to go up the branch a little bit and do it on the other side. So upside down paintbrush. And I go touch the branch and then pull. I'm going to make it longer. <gasps> I had more paint. I made that one long. Okay, that was cool. 
has a little elbow in it. Look, looks like I avoided the moon. I don't care if you go on the moon. It makes the moon look farther away. And then should I scribble? No, that'll be huge. Make the, so I just went like this. I upside down paintbrush and pull. And then I went higher up the branch and went, oh, another one. Look what I did. Oh, okay. I just call it a twig. I made a mistake. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Cause look at all that paint on there and it's all, and I'm gonna like to make twigs and this is all lumpy, lumpy and thick, right? Come and clean my paintbrush just for smoothness, you know, there. Now I can see her point again. It was covered in paint. Now, now I can see it. Okay. So instead of going huh, and get some black paint, just get some, you know, some. Did I just put black on my face? Oh, my hands are so dirty. I'm scared. Okay. So I'm just going to get some because i don't want to ruin my point so i just get some some i didn't stab it hard because i'm trying to keep the little tip okay now let's put twigs upside down paintbrush and i go to the right to the left to the right to the left so i always go a little bit higher every time and how do they go do they go out or just up up right so i go watch me do it watch watch so i go upside down paintbrush i go to the right and then I like to make another one on the other side. To the left. Oh, I'm on the moon. I don't care. And then to the right. Oh, it's longer than that one. I don't care. To the right, to the left, to the right. And it's always higher up on the branch. Every time I jump sides. Upside down paintbrush. And gentle. Why? What happens when you push hard with a paintbrush? Oh my gosh, it opens so big. It's so frustrating, right? Now, now I'd like to get more for more twigs. So I just get a touch of it, not a stab. I just get some, some black. Now let's do the one right here, right? I could be on the moon, but I don't wanna be way down here. There's already a branch there. So maybe uh, to the right. Uh-oh, this means branches are gonna to touch each other. It's a tree, they can touch. Now I go to the other side. Oh, I just touched that other branch. I don't care. And then to the right. Oh, I'm trying to hold my paintbrush upside down, but my arm's in the way, you can't see. To the right, to the left, to the right. How, who is able to do that super soft? Aren't you impressed? An upside down paintbrush. What happens if you hold like a pencil? Your paintbrush opens. Because what's the pressure of this holding it this hard? It's to scratch graphite onto paper. So don't hold it like that. You'll push too hard. Okay. Oh, one more branch. Get a poke of black and climb this one. All right. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Fun! And don't put too many. It looks like a haunted tree. Just some, just some. And then we get to put leaves on it. You ready for leaves? Oh no, leave it like this, sorry. That was my bad. I was I was thinking another step ahead, sorry, like that. Okay, here's leaves, let me show you. Do you know what a leaf is? Remember I told you this is a fancy paintbrush that I don't want you to throw away that's awesome? It makes leaves, you know why? If I touch like this, like a stamp, it makes the perfect leaf shape. What? It's a stamp, it's a stamp. It's a what? Cause it's already pointy. That if I just press down a little bit, it well, what's the pattern that goes on a tree? Watch this. Did you know that that leaves go like this to the right, to the left, to the right, and they climb the branch? Watch, watch this. I go. Here's a twig. I touch to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. I climb a little higher every time. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. It's just a little dash, like a phone number dash. And it will just make that shape for you. Because it's the shape of the paintbrush that does it. I know. It also makes the best flowers. But we don't have time for that. It's a great paintbrush. You just have to clean it. Okay. Oh, oh, look, you can't see good. Okay, let me do it on my real tree then. I was do decorating my paper plate. Who cares about my paper plate? Okay. Oh, here's one. I'll do this one. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And it's always a little higher on every side. To the right, to the left. Is that high enough? To the right, to the left, to the right. Oh, 
and I ran out of paint. It's not cute anymore. It has to get a little poke of black paint. Poke. And then I could do this one. Watch this one. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Always a little higher, then a little higher on the other side, a little higher on the other side, a little, okay. And then to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Oh, this one would like some. And only twigs, only twigs have leaves, right? Not branches. Branches are holding everybody up. They don't get no leaves. But twigs get leaves. And then what's the pattern? The same way when we put, because it's the pattern of DNA, a spiral. So that's the pattern two-dimensionally of a spiral is to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Because all plants grow in a spiral. Who is able to make a stamp leaf? Where you just touch and it literally makes the leaf shape. So we do, do we try to, do, look, don't try, look, Elijah, don't try to draw a leaf. It is a touch. Okay, let me show you again, Elijah, watch. It is a touch. I get black paint. And I just lay it down, look at how flat I am on the paper plate. I just go touch, touch, touch. And then look, there's a leaf shapes. Touch, touch, touch. It's a, a smash, a little, a little poke. And those are leaves. So I'm not drawing them like this. Woo, woo, no. I just touch and the leaf thingy happens. Okay, now we have to put some glow in the dark paint on our fire, on our fireflies. But I was just looking at mine, and if they're shiny, they're still wet. So we have to check them. My blue ones and purple ones are still wet. Can you use your finger and smash? Get that extra paint off. Look at How are we going to put glow-in-the-dark paint on if they're still wet? So just get the extra off like it's jelly and wipe it off. Look. And just do the purple ones last. I don't want to pick up, pick up purple and decorate everything with filthy purple. Everyone's dry. Wait. Oh, this blue one. Super thick. Wipe that extra off. Okay. That's right. Okay. So how do we put the glow-in-the-dark paint on there? With our finger. And then, wait, let's check and see if it's settled again. It's my stick. And, I, and look at, look at where the yellow is. Or it's bright green. I need to stir again. Look at it. Scratch the bottom. Come on, you get in my glowy paint. Get in my glowy glue. Uh, glue. I had a way better gel, but the company went out of business. So now it separates. I hate it. But, you know, we just deal with what we deal with, right? That's life. Okay. Can't complain when we can't change it. Okay. Okay, now I can use my finger and put a blobule on each each uh, firefly and if you have a bathroom in your house or a closet that doesn't have any windows you'll be able to see it glow otherwise you have to wait at night i have one bathroom in my house with no window so i'm gonna get the paint and i'm gonna hold my cup you know why it's so thin it'll fall off my finger look so i just go touch spin touch spin and I get a glob for each one so it's nice and thick because what does the paint do? This gel just drops off the powder. Hey, it's dripping. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. That's what I was trying to tell you. You kind of are throwing it on there. Like, look, I'm going poke. I'm trying to get really close so it can't fall off my finger before I can get it on the painting. Oh, it's dripping. Not and thick. How come? That's where the powder is. I'm definitely touching the bottom of my cup because I know that's where the powder is. Spin. <gasps> okay, it looks like glue, huh? I told you, remember I showed you mine? It looks way better in person than, um, than on camera because this has a reflection on it. So I was like, oh, I put it on too thick. Look at what's happening to mine. Mine's dripping right there. Can I just wipe it off with my finger? There, who cares? And then we can use our paintbrush stick. Use the yellow paintbrush stick and you can put glow in the dark uh, stars on there when you're done with your fireflies. If you have any left, I am you putting mine on really thick. Hey, mine's dripping again, look. Look, I'm dripping, spin it back on there. Get, on, get back on there, glow paint. It's falling, spin, okay. Ooh. 
He keeps trying to fall off. Just spin it back on there. He'll go back on. Don't let him drip. Don't let it. Don't let those little globs uh, escape. If you see one starting to drip, just spin her back on. As soon as she gets dry and sticky, she'll stop dripping. We know that's true with stuff, right? Like when it's when it's all because it's full of water. But as soon as because I'm putting it on thin, the air is going to get stolen. And then, and then who's going to use the stick and put more dots for stars? And then how come we put the, the glow-the-dark paint on our moon first before we put the tree? Because at night, the tree is blocking your glow-in-the-dark paint, and you'll be able to see the tree at night. Oh, my gosh. Guess what I forgot? The jar. Okay, we have, we have zero minutes left. Everybody get you a little paintbrush. How did I skip that? And I need blue and white. Okay, everybody watch. S skip the glow in the dark paint. You can always do that on your own time. Watch this. It is a blue, smooth string of blue with a string of white on top. And is the white perfect? No, the white skips and jumps, just like light reflecting. Watch this. And can you scribble this on there and make a furry jar? No. You have to push your paint really smooth. Okay, watch me. So I got my little paintbrush and my blue, right? And I'll just do the jar lid for you. Watch, I go, I go, push. Am I wiggling? Am I scribbling? Or I just push my paint? Push my paint on the pencil. Wait, I'm not done. So I get more blue and push. Am I wiggling? No. In order to get a smooth texture, I can only pull my paint, just like my tree. You can see my silver Sharpie. No one will be able to see your pencil, I promise. Okay, everybody pause and look up. I'm gonna show you real fast. I clean my, don't look away. Everybody look, cause I can only show you this once. Now I get a poke of white. I stab my white. And I give it permission, everybody watch. I give it permission to be white and blue. No, and without scribbling, watch. I'm not high enough. So I go, I go, wee, and it's gonna run out of white all by itself. I do not pick up my paintbrush. I give it permission to run out of paint. So do I have dark areas? Yeah. Do I have light areas? Yeah. Do I have pure white areas where the moon must just shine on the glass? Yes. So I streak the white right through the blue without picking up my paintbrush and I give it permission to have interesting mixes. And then how about the sides? The sides are hard because you have to stop and get blue paint like 10 times because it's far, it's long, it's a long line. But just pull, pull the paint Along the pencil, pull. Oh, ran out of paint. More paint. Pull. And then if there's grass, don't bother putting your jar on top of the grass. Just let it just come to a stop when grass happens. Right? Now watch me. Now I'm going to get the white. Stab. Everybody pause and look up. Here's my blue line. Watch this. Oh my God, and I just let it be like that. Streaks of blue and white, not mixed together. Exactly. I'm not making baby blue. I'm streaking my white into my blue just for a little shimmer shine. Did I scribble? No, that'll make a furry glass. You know what I mean? The texture would be wrong. So just pulling your paintbrush along is smoother. And we could put glow-in-the-dark paint on our jar, but not right now. We were supposed to do this like five steps ago, so it would be dry right now. But for some reason, I did not see it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Life. I know one of the reasons is because I do mine in silver Sharpie, so I think it's done. <laughs> Who got a good texture on your jar? And it looks like long streaks of blue and white. So it looks like the dark parts, the shadow, and the white is a shimmer shine. Okay, now watch me. Everybody pause. Oh, no, that's done. That's done. Okay, we're done.
Oh, I didn't put, okay, now I can go back and with the one minute that's left, I'm gonna get the rest of my glow-in-the-dark paint because I didn't do the ones inside the jar. I can switch from one activity to the next. Sorry for that rushy rush. We would have taken our time. I would have realized what I'd done. There. Oh, oh. And then you promise you're going to go look at this in the dark and see if it glows. Oh, take it in the sun first. Outside. Zap it with sunlight. You know, like a solar panel. Then take it into the dark. You're going to freak out. It's so fun. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I finished, I finished. And put the lids on all your paints because you know you want to decorate these. And can you wash out these paintbrushes? Yes, wash the paintbrushes out um, until no more color comes out, but always check them with a the paper towel and pinch them. Make sure there's no color in them with a paper towel. We're not, we're not, I mean, not right now, we don't have any water. But when you go wash them, because any color left in there is plastic, which is why they end up drying hard and you're like, what? Because there was a little bit of plastic you didn't see. So you rinse until the paintbrush tells you it's all clean. And put the lids on, and then you can put all of your, your paints in that little plastic baggie. Remember, do moms clean them up after you? Never ever it's not their job it's your job it's your life it's your mess oh there it is okay so i go okay so now i can put my paints in here for another time but i want to wash my paint brushes before i put them away right so they're clean and then you're saving your cardboard easel okay do not throw it away. We're going to use it in another class in two weeks, okay? It's not trash. Just fold it up, pinch it with the clippies, and like put it next to your dresser under your bed or something. So we're going to use it again. I didn't want to give you two of them, so you just throw them away. No way, right? But you have one right now. Okay, you guys did a great job. You guys want to hold them up to the camera so everybody can see?